welcome aboard to Code Query. I am your host, Admiral Trina, sailor of the seas and your dedicated guide today on the crazy voyage of code plagiarism. So today we're here at the checking dashboard to show you how easily Code Query can detect code plagiarism from the entire whole web. So without further ado, let's get right into it. But first, let me tell you a quick tip. Did you know that Code Query is the only tool in the world that can detect code plagiarism from the entire World Wide Web? Can you believe that? Oh, and we do it the best forever, so be assured. With, with everything you say, whatever we do, we got you covered. So, first, let's get into heap sort. Okay, as you can see here, we've run it already and we found 22 matches with 849 lines of code scanned. Crazy, right? So yeah, what's also crazy is that you can see all these zip files we can upload here, but you can upload as many as you want, as long as they're under 10 megabytes. But if you wanna upload more than that, just split them up. It's easy, yeah, it's so easy, so easy. So. Here, we have just uploaded some Python files that we pulled from the old class, as you can tell. Oh, also, I gotta tell you this, auto detection is here. We support over 50, 50 different languages and continually we're gonna add more as needed. So if there's not a language out there yet, you're gonna see one soon enough. We're gonna add all of them. <laughs> just you wait. So let me just breeze through them quickly so you have an idea of what languages we support. We also offer different check types, including group similarity, deep check, and auto detect base code features. But, but guys, I gotta tell you something else. We also have another quick tip. So did you know that Turnitin can't check source code? <laughs> I know, right? Turnitin sucks, everyone. <laughs> they can't even check for code plagiarism like we can. That's why we're here. So let's get back into it. If you watched our other videos, you already know about the insights page, the group overview, overview and the results. However, let's see how these sneaky students do against our mighty web search. <laughs> okay, so let's get through the insights. Mm, looks like there's a 98% and that's a super, super, super high plagiarism score, everyone. But the insights page will give you a great overlook. So like, imagine it being on a skyscraper and yes, particularly it's super useful for a lot of submissions. Like you teachers with many, 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 many students. Wink, 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 nudge, nudge, nudge. Mm hmm Seems like there was no matches in the group overview. So that's really good. No peer matches found. Yay! Uh, okay, let's move on. Hmm. So, uh, examining the results, uh, let's take a look at the Dragon Bank Master. Hmm. And it looks like there were some matches. So we see the uploaded code in GitHub, the website, and the internal database matches. Mm -mm -mm. Seems like some of our students copied some code off the web. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, everyone. Team, we review the first match. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. 83% similarity. Ooh, looks like it's almost a direct copy, too. Let's meet with the rest of it. Hmm. It seems like there's some more matches here off the web, and one compiler looks like an exact copy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Sorting Master. Some web matches. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like we got a code pirate here, folks. Wait, wait, no, no. Actually, it just looks like a partial copy. Hmm, variables are different, but the logic's the same. The 27% mm -mm, isn't convincing enough. All right, another 16% match from the code query database, but it's just a similar code, not a direct match. So that's not a direct copy, which is good. Hmm, 
Okay, it's clear that Sorting Master is safe with no cases of plagiarism. Just some similarities. Now, let's see what Heap Sort found on the web. Okay, 100% matches here, and that's like literally so convincing already. Come on, that's literally plagiarism, 100% plagiarism. <sighs> if submissions contain more code files, just use the file viewer if you need to browse through more matches. Easy, easy, easy. Anyway, everyone, looks like Heap Sport Main clearly copied from the web. That is a blatant copy. And there's no getting around it with Code Query. Code Query will find everything. The number one code plagiarism busting software ever to exist. Quickly, I want to show you how Stack Overflow matches and shows up as we got like 50 lines that run here with an 87% web score. And. Here you'll see some stack overflow and database matches with different colorings. See, look at all the colors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A 100% match means the user copied their code from stack overflow. As you can see, mm -mm -mm. Well, as showing everything today, this shows how easy it is to check for code plagiarism on the web. And you know that we're the only software that does this on such a super, super, super low cost. It's literally only $79 a month at codequery.com. You get a full platform subscription to check code for similarity within a group or on the web. Yes, that's right. Unlimited group checking. Awesome. Yes. It's super useful in classrooms, coding competitions, interviews, whatever you need to use it for. Now, team, with that boring stuff out the way, hopefully you know how to use Code Query to find plagiarism in code from the web. So, let's take a brief moment while we tend to thank the coding gods for allowing us to bust cheating once and for all. Cheating's no good, no cheating allowed. And Turnitin sucks, everyone! We're coming after them! We're the best! If you're the CEO of Turnitin, we're coming after you! Just you wait! <laughs> Well, well, thank you so much, everyone, and happy plagiarism checking. Much love, guys, from all of you. Admiral Trina signing out. And if you want more content from me, let me know in the comments down below. All right, take care. See you in the next video. Bye.